then he started as an electronic engineer. He studied electronic engineering, then finally landed up in software profession. So now to evaluate uh, the second speaker, may invite uh, the second evaluator. Uh, so my esteemed speaker Rambert is attempting a speech from presentation mastery, project two from level one, and the project objective is to learn or review basic <coughs> methods for writing speech with a defined purpose and to present a well-organized speech on any topic. And the time is five to seven minutes. All the best. Please put your hands to welcome Postmaster Renda. Masters and fellow guests, today I am going to uh, present the topic is TV the future. Okay, uh, so what is an electric uh, vehicle? So in an electric vehicle there are two components, uh, one is uh, main, mainly two components, one is uh, battery and uh, electric motor. Uh, in a high-end vehicle, uh, the uh, electric motor will be present both in rear and front. So uh, this is how it will look uh, without the motor. Okay. So, what is the main advantage of EV compared to a ICE? So, ICE is internal combustion engine, or petrol and diesel engine. So, uh, you save a lot of money on fuel, you save uh, money on maintenance, and also if you are an environment, environment uh, concerned person, uh, that also it will make happy. So, going to the savings. I made a rough calculation on how much you will save on a two-wheeler if you are having a two-wheeler as a electric vehicle. Uh, so uh, typically, uh, if you are driving 50,000 kilometer uh, using your uh, petrol uh, two-wheeler, you will be spending close to 1,36,000 on just petrol considering the petrol price stays uh, 105 for next 10 years. But that is not the case, it may rise. and most case, uh, the spending can reach even uh, 2 lakh uh, rupees. Uh, so, uh, the same thing what you will be spending on a EV is that uh, you will be spending close to uh, 7,500 for the same range. So, if you are having a solar panel, even that money can be saved using the, uh, I mean, sending the uh, electricity back to the grid. Uh, so, typically you will be uh, saving uh, from 1.3 to 2 lakhs in your entire uh, two-wheeler life cycle. So next, <coughs> next is that maintenance cost. So uh, as I told before, only uh, two important components are there in a electric vehicle. When in a ICE, the, uh, the components are more. So the problem of having a lot of moving components is that uh, the maintenance cost. Whenever you go to a uh, service uh, for a service, they will be charging uh, a lot uh, down the years, like uh, 4 to 5 years down the lane, they will be, uh, the bill amount for maintaining the uh, vehicle is more. So then, uh, there also you will be saving like 10%, uh, 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 1 in 10th uh, you will be spending for a healthy vehicle. Okay, so uh, it is also environment friendly, so I see, I see ICCT is a, a global uh, non-profitable organization which uh, does the research on you know, providing uh, feedback on multiple uh, uh, industries. So, so they gave, uh, I took uh, one particular study. Uh, so they gave a, a report on Ether. Uh, on uh, 2022 alone, uh, 56 lakh of carbon dioxide emission is prevented because of the ether alone. <coughs> so imagine if all the companies uh, turn into uh, electric vehicle. So okay, so the uh, so uh, uh, we have all the advantage. So, <coughs> so why people are not uh, moving towards EV? So the we lack infrastructure. That is one main problem. Uh, so the next is that uh, the problem, uh, I mean uh, the 
the, uh, as I told before, bat battery is made up of lithium. The lithium is uh, uh, not abundant in nature and uh, it is present, 50% uh, of the lithium, uh, what uh, we get today is from this small area present in the South, South America. So uh, we are again uh, doing the same mistake what uh, we done for the petrol engine. Uh, back in the year 1876 when petrol engine was born, nobody thought uh, that uh, we will have a fuel crisis today. So again we may end up in such a crisis after 100 years. <coughs> okay, so uh, what are the alternatives? We have hydrogen based engines and uh, gas based and uh, sodium ion and uh, sodium state batteries. So last two are under uh, development. Uh, so I will vote for uh, uh, hydrogen based because hydrogen is abundant in nature. We can. Uh, uh, create hydrogen even from water. <coughs> so, uh, so coming back to the original question, is EV the future? Uh, my take is EV should not be the future. EV should be the part of the future, leaving way for other technologies like this, uh, so that uh, we will won't have a single dependency on a single technology. Questions will take. I understand that uh, the Asian tanks partially cash made as well. Yes, yes, yes. Still, uh, still uh, we, I mean, it's a limited resource. So, we may not know if uh, demand grows, we may end up with the same location. <coughs> In terms of purchase price, how are the two vehicles different? The current, currently, you have to spend 20% more. But uh, in long run, it, it will reduce. Yeah. The maintenance cost is less, but purchase cost is like 20% more. So, do you think we are loading the purchase cost higher? We are loading the difference in the purchase cost? In your opinion, I must say. Yeah, uh, currently we are importing the gems, but uh, as Sir told, uh, we found a big trend in Kashmir. So it, it will reduce the price in coming days. Also, one of the challenges is recycling the battery. Right? Because we yes, are trying yes. to uh, not to pollute the environment, but there yes. are a few toxins in the battery. Yeah, lithium can be uh, recycled, but uh, the process is, I mean, I think it's first step. Uh, that's what we have to uh, go with the other technology in parallel with the, what we have. Yeah, uh, thank you. The time is. Thank you so much, Sarah. I know you that with the level two.